What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to talk about the Canik TP9 SFX. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be talking about the Canik TP9 SFX. This is a really, really good gun. Again, just like uh, we talked about with the X5 Legion in a previous video, this is a great gun if you're looking for a fighting gun or if you're looking for something to compete with. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we're clear. As you can see, the gun is clear. All right. Okay. This thing, <laughs> it's another gun that just feels great in the hands the first time i put this thing in my hands it just feels good just like the previous video with the x5 legion it just feels good in your hands all right this does come with removable back straps so you can change those out depending on how big your hands are and how you want this thing to feel in your hands all right i like the stippling that's already on here of course you can always go somewhere and get this re-stippled i like the way that it is Okay, overall length, you're looking at 8.27 inches. Uh, overall weight, you're looking at 1.83 pounds. So just a little over, well, really almost of two pounds. But I'll be honest, it doesn't, it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel that way at all whatsoever. Uh, even with the mag, so it's gonna come with steel mags. They're gonna be 20 round mags. As you can see, I've already swapped out and put some extended base plates on here because this is the gun that I got because I would like to start to get into some competition stuff. As you can see, I've already put a red dot on here. All right, it's all ready cut. All right, the plate comes off and it's got, it comes with four different plates and can mount just about any red dot out there. Um, I'm not gonna say all of them. There are some I think that it does not you're not able to mount on here. I could be wrong on that. I really didn't dig into it, but from what I saw when I got to looking at it, it comes with four different plates depending on what optic you want to mount on here. Outside of that, it comes with Warren Tactical fiber optic sights. So you're gonna have some really good fiber optic iron sights. If you're not ready for a red dot or you don't like red dots, or maybe you're doing a competition where red dots aren't allowed because there are competitions out there where red dots aren't allowed. Now, I will say this flared magwell does not come with the gun. So this did not come with the gun. It's something I added on because again, I would like to start competing. If you do add this flared magwell on here, all right, that was another reason I swapped these base plates out. Not only to give me options for more rounds in the magazine, but your factory mags will not fit in this flared magwell unless you modify them. What I mean by modify them is you're gonna to have to go and shave down some of the front part of the base plate, a base pad, whatever you wanna call it, on your factory mags. But the company I got the flared magwell from had mag extensions and as you can see, you can go really, really crazy with it. So if you wanna see what this looks like in the gun, there you go. So I'm getting seven rounds with this one. I'm getting five rounds with this one. So five extra rounds, seven extra rounds. So you can swap them out. They are again still mags. An extended slide release, it's already going to be on there. The extended mag release I've got on here, I added that. All right, you have a couple of different options for that as well too. This gun for the price comes with a lot of stuff. You're getting two mags, you're getting two 20 round mags, you're getting all your different mag extension or mag release extensions. All right, if you don't want it sticking out quite as far as what I have it sticking out, there's different sizes to that. All right, but now the slide release is already gonna come on there. Can you swap it out? Yes. The other thing you're gonna be getting is you get a holster. So you're getting the gun, Optic ready, 
crazy light trigger, crazy short trigger pull, two 20 round mags, you get all the plates, alright, you get a ton of stuff for a really, really good price. And this is a, a good gun, alright, you got your front and rear serrations, alright, you got ports already cut in the slide to reduce the weight a little bit. You can add, you got the rail here, so if you want to add a flashlight or something like that, like I said, fighting gun, competition gun, either or. Um, I don't really know if I would say you could set it up for both. Maybe you can. All right, I try to set it up just for competition. I have another gun I use for my fighting gun, but it's ridiculous. I, I mean, it's pretty much. You get everything you need minus the red dot in the case when you buy it, and it's pretty much ready to go for a competition. There's even some options out there where you can buy a package deal where you get everything and the red dot. Now, I did that. The red dot that came with it was Vortec Viper. Uh, I just didn't like that particular red dot. I'm not saying that it was a bad red dot. Me personally, I just didn't like it, so I put a Halosun on here, 507C. So I like it a little bit better. The window's a little bit bigger. Uh, I like having the option of the dot uh, or the circle crosshair or circle crosshair and the dot. We're going to talk more about this in the other videos about some of the different options with the red dots, but that's what I put on here. Again, these Warren Tactical fiber optic sights that come on, the iron sights that come on it, really good, really clear. Pick them up very, very easy. Alright, I will say the trigger press on this, I did check it, it is three and a half pounds, it's already super light, the reset is absolutely ridiculous, it's a very, very short reset, now I'll be honest, I'm not big on working trigger resets, uh, we can get in that into a later video, but the, just wanted to let you know the reset is very short on this thing, alright, Trigger press is really light, reset's really short. You're getting a lot of great stuff with this. Now your barrel length, I know we talked about overall length is 8.27 inches. All right, your barrel length is 5.2 inches. All right, and again, you have your extended slide on here, front rear serration. So you're getting a good quality gun at a good quality price with a lot of good quality options. So you four plates, depending on what red dot you want to use. The other thing is on this side right here of this plate, as well as this side, you can add a cocking lever on here, depending on what you're doing. Me personally, I didn't like it. Um, I did put it on there, used it for a little bit, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, I just can, to me, I just put my hand and just use the red dot or these serrations are really good as well too, but I did not put that cocking lever on there. Now. If you're not going to put, excuse me, if you're not going to put any type of red dot you're using the standard plate, you can't put that cocking lever on there. To be able to get the cocking lever on, you've got to be able to put put these plates on here and put a red dot on there. But they, it is personal preference. Canik has a lot of options out there. If you don't want something full size like this, they have a subcompact. Your Canik, uh, the Canik TP9 Elite SC. Uh, you got a combat elite, executive elite, uh, you got the new meta, um, I think a DA, a TA, there's a lot of options out there with Canics. Some of your combat elite's going to come when I think the executive elite's going to come with a threaded barrel. This one does not, but you do have the option to switch that out. And there's aftermarket stuff, but I will say it's kind of limited for this particular, like the flared magwell and these base plates that I swapped out. I had to go to a particular manufacturer for that. It was hard to find some of that stuff. Uh, now that could have changed, all right? It's been a few years since I've had this gun, so some of that could have changed. Since then, I haven't gone back in and looked. But you're, if you can't afford something like the X5 Legion like I did in a previous video, but you want to start competing or you're looking for a good fighting gun, this is your option right here. It's very, very affordable. The price point's good. I'll have the link down in the description for this gun. You can go in and look at it. I think uh, MSRP is 575 
600. Um, now again, the package deal I got was everything plus the red dot. I want to say I spent $700, maybe $725, somewhere in there. But by the time you buy the gun and then go and buy a red dot, you're that deep into it. Maybe even a little bit more depending on what red dot you go with. So you're getting a good quality red dot if you can find that package still. I want to say most of them without the red dot usually been floating about 500 to 525. Um, still, it is cheaper than the X5 Legion and you're getting a good quality gun. Uh, now, if you sat down and you sat this gun with that gun in front of me, it's going to be tight and close on what I actually picked. But again, good quality gun. I have no complaints about it. I've enjoyed this thing thoroughly. Uh, I need to get my butt out there starting to practice a little bit more and get myself into a competition and really see how this thing does. But I've been thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with it. All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope this helps y'all make a decision on you know some of the options that you have out there for full-size guns, fighting guns, competition guns. Thanks to all my subscribers, followers, supporters. Please continue to get people to subscribe, comment, share, like. This all helps with help getting out the word about South Carolina Gun School, help getting out some great information to people out there. But I cannot do it without y'all, and I thank you very much for that. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range. Take a six shots all straight to the face. I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know how to stop.